Hey guys, how's it going today? I don't know if you've seen my video a few days ago where I was uh, speaking from the patio on our place looking overlooking the river. And then yesterday in Mike's video, he got right down to the river. So I was bugging him that he always has to try to one-up me in everything that I do. So today I decided to take my vlog to um, an active one on my bicycle. But I thought I'd be a little bit smart and maybe not take you on the road with me because it might make for a great video, but I might look like a bit of an idiot if I get hit by a car trying to film a video. So um, here I am just cycling through the park on my way home from my volunteering today. And maybe I'll just stop and let you see. This is a nice green uh, common just on my way home right now. You can see the cars behind me a little bit. This is not a busy place. I'm on a residential street. So very, very, um, oh, there's a train. Um, but every time I cycle, I always think about how I said I would never, ever cycle in this city. Um, Christmas 2014, our first Christmas here, there's no public transportation. So I actually had, to, Mike and I either could have rented a taxi or we could rent bikes and cycle over to our friend's house for Christmas dinner. So there's some unhappy dogs behind us. Oh, he's gonna come and get me. Um, we rode our bikes to their place and it was there was no public transportation. There was not even any buses on the road, barely any cars, and it still scared the crap out of me. I would cycle and then I would stop and I'd get up on the sidewalk and I would yell at Mike who was ahead of me and I'd be like, Mike, get back here. And it, like what probably should have been a 10 minute cycle took us a way, I don't even wanna say, way too long. So uh, now we've moved to a new place. Fast forward six months after that, we moved to a new place and I was faced with either a 40 to 50 minute cycle every single day, or, or sorry, a 40, 40 to 50 minute bus ride every day, or I could get my bike and I could cycle in 15 to 20 minutes. So I just decided to buck up, go buy a bike, get geared up. I got my high vis stuff, my helmet, safety first, and I just started cycling. So. What I've learned from that is just absolutely amazing. Facing your fears, I mean, I was scared for the first week and it took a while to get my confidence up, but the more I did it, the easier it is. Now we're coming up to about 10 months of cycling. It's so much better. I cycle everywhere I go. You get fresh air, you get to see everything. And um, a lot of funny things happen on the road too, which is kind of entertaining, but um, it takes less time. You get to put the city together properly instead of just going out in the underground and popping up in different places. You actually see um, where, how close everything is and how cool it is. So basically what I've learned from my cycling adventure in London is just do it. It gets easier and easier and I can't even imagine the things that I would be missing if I hadn't done it. So it's Friday today, have an awesome weekend. Maybe do something that you're a little scared to do. Might turn out to be something really cool for you. So have a good one, talk to you later, bye.